Guten Morgen, muchachos, from top of the goddamn table. How are you doing? Welcome back to Football Digest Daily. My name is Nyashi Kaye, the elephant that is back on top of the tree. Hmm? Wiki moja tu, to make a kidogo to me Liverpool warm up the seat for us. They have done a fantastic job, I gotta be honest. You know, when we sat there on Sunday yesterday, it was, it was a bit warm. Hmm, walifanya kazi nzuri. Sasa, kidogo unajua kikaka usiku mzima usiku kucha baridi naanza kuingia hmm? and the, like we said the elephant is back where it belongs unajua watu walituambia oh elephant imeanguka pungulu pu sijui nini ndovu sijui nini ah si ndio hiyo the elephant is back and it's weird the elephant is back on top of the tree thanks to manchester united you know i never thought i would actually come here and thank manchester united I thought I would come here and banter Manchester United this Monday morning because, yo, I thought, and everybody thought they're going to go to Anfield, they're going to get clattered, they're going to get clobbered, they're going to get clapped, battered, bruised, and beaten. We were wrong. We were wrong. They held on. They were steadfast. They did not concede any goal. It's weird. Manchester United did not concede any goal against Liverpool at Anfield. Manchester United that has a plethora of injuries. It could almost name a whole starting eleven. They did not consider goal. You know, I gotta give it up to them, man. Well done. Absolutely well done. You know, I like the fact that they don't get lost in the occasion. Because, you know, the rivalry between these two is insane. You know, so they didn't get caught up. In, they didn't get caught up in the whole occasion. And they just remained steadfast and, you know, calm heads and everything else. And, and I knew... Ah, so I think you caught up in this melee because, you know, like Arsenal, when you were last there, you know, Granit Xhaka antagonized the crowd and the crowd was just up and, you know, the atmosphere just went on another level. The atmosphere at Anfield is always at another level. So when you take it to a higher level than that, then you're calling for trouble. When uh, Shimikas or Simikas was, um, Walikwana Vrutana Nanani, and I told Anthony, and Anthony was just like, no, I don't want this, I ain't gonna, you know. You know, Anthony is a hot headed nigger, okay, hot headed person, right? And of course, such instances, he's always you know, up going up against the player and all that, whatnot, and all that stuff. So this time I was like, no, 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 I'm not doing that. You, I'm sorry, man. Yo, hands off. And I was like, yeah, they're keeping a calm head here. And they didn't get caught up with the occasion. And that was fantastic. Especially considering that they were super injury plagued. There was no Bruno. There was, Maguire wasn't in. They had a, a starting uh, back for or center back partnership of Johnny Evans and Varane. Can't recall the last time those two guys played. So, you know, for all that and then some, and keeping a clean sheet and not conceding a goal, Onana with some fantastic saves. Well done, Manchester United. Out of that, they maintained Arsenal stay on top of the table. Liverpool could not score a goal. Now they have 38 points, just a one point. And the last time Manchester United won or did not lose at Anfield was in 2016, seven years ago. Now, We'll have to go seven years later, 2023, because they did not concede, they did not get beat. And everybody was, of course, I think they're going to get clattered. Yeah, for me, of course, Nilisama Itakwa ni Mazishi. You know, I've never been this happy to be this wrong, to be honest. I was super elated that I was wrong. I was super happy that I was wrong. So, of course, yeah. And we're watching that game at Tanzania Gardens, and there was one man called Tito who walked away with a meal voucher of 100, uh, 1,500 shillings. And yeah, he enjoyed the view for sure. Uh, check out uh, our pages on, on Instagram. You see uh, him devouring his... I don't know if he took pork ribs. Yeah, but he had a good time. He totally, totally enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, and for that, of course, we had Arsenal versus Brighton. This is how Arsenal got to the top of the table because we beat Brighton. We absolutely choked them, suffocated them, made them suffer. At the post-match conferences, Kina Lewis Duncan, their coach, Desabi, was just talking about how Arsenal have made them suffer like they have never suffered before. They just never got going and absolutely got dominated. We absolutely dominated them. The last time, you know what? Brighton came to this game having scored in each of their last 32 Premier League matches. Is it Premier League matches among all, all matches? Yeah. This season, like this season, they have played 16 games, right? Before that game, they had scored in each and every one. It, they, oh, I think it's the only team that has scored in each and every game. Well, that was before they met the wall. And when I say the wall, I mean Saliba and Gabriel Magalhaes. They could not score. They were nowhere to be seen. Evan Ferguson was choking in Saliba's pockets. They never got going. Miller was up being toasted by Saka. Like, throughout the match, Miller had a long one. I'm sure he was having nightmares last night. He definitely had nightmares from Bukayo Saka. 
Declan Rice again doing Declan Rice things. You know, like we were all over Brighton like white on rice. So that we were all over them like bees on honey. No lie. And and you know, even Desabi, like I was saying, Desabi in the post-match conference saying we were saying how Arsenal, they all over them, they made them suffer like they have never suffered before. They, they, are, they have not suffered like that this season. Because you are all over their case. Crazy. It's you know, it's weird that we scored only two goals. Because you had a lot of chances, man. And and that's that's maybe the only catch in this game. That is maybe the only complaint one would have in this match. That you had so much possession, you had so many chances, and you didn't convert them, especially in the first half. You just converted two goals, two chances. Because you won the game 2-0. So that's the only issue in this game as far as Arsenal is concerned. But everything else, ah, fantastic. Fantastic. Odegaard cooking, like in Odegaard, in shooting boots, I don't know what's going on with that one. he will have to rectify that because, you know, we need him uh, firing in all cylinders. Um, Declan Rice, of course, was good. And Nidai mentioned Saliba and, uh, and Gabriel. I mean, David Rice had nothing to do, really, in that match. Um, so, yeah, and of course, Edin Ketia came on and uh, had an assist for Kai Havertz. Kai Havertz, I told you, he's going to keep scoring and scoring and scoring. And that's exactly what he's doing. Now he has four goals. I think, in the Premier League, if I'm not wrong, and five in total. In his last 40 matches for, for Chelsea, I think that's when he had four goals. <laughs> he has four goals now in a few matches at Arsenal. So he's cooking. He's proving all the doubters wrong, and everybody is happy, apart from the doubters. Chelsea is due to Ongezeka Kiru. You know, we need to add West Ham like Kedo, 30, 40 million, right? But Chelsea, Chelsea, we kind of robbed them, eh? <laughs> yeah man so yeah big win for arsenal going to the top of the table fantastic of course jesus scored the first goal for arsenal from a corner and you know like brighton on a but we were all over, like i said we we're all over them man saka scored from a corner or assisted from a corner kick because he took the corner kick that jesus scored and then it was flicked on by some uh, brighton player and jesus was just there free alone alone pekeake and of course put it uh, inside of the back of the net one nil Arsenal, and then again going all over them like crazy. Those corner kicks, but I don't know how we never scored a, a goal from uh, Martinelli's corner kicks because they were dangerous. They were dangerous, man. Like I said, you're all over Brighton. So as that was happening, um, so Ndovi Merudi GMT. As that was happening, we also had Aston Villa up against Brentford at uh, Community Stadium. Aston Villa won that game two one. A crazy game, man. Like high intensity, two red cards. That's all you need to know to know the game was a bit crazy. Kamara and um, who's the guy who got recorded? Ben Me got recorded for for Brentford. His first Ben Me's first red card in ten years. Yeah, he's good. He's good. He's disciplined. Let's just say he's disciplined. So, yeah, and uh, Aston Villa won that game to one. So big win for Aston Villa. Out of that respect, well, to that respect, they are now level on points with uh, Liverpool. Thirty-eight points, one below Arsenal. Insane, right? Yeah. Uh, same time, I think we had uh, Wolves uh, playing against West Ham. West Ham had had a bad run in the last two, three games, and they got themselves back to it. Now they won that game three 0 Kudus the brace, Kudus banner, yo, he's banging goals for fun. He's in red hot form, no lie. So big win for West Ham. On Saturday we had some interesting matches. Ali kickoff. We had. Uh, did you have an early kickoff? Did we have an early kickoff? I don't think we had an early kickoff. But you had a game on Friday, Spurs versus Nottingham Forest. They won that game 2-0. Uh, uh, who's this? Um, Richardson on the score sheet again for Spurs. On Saturday, the game was talking about was Manchester City versus Crystal Palace. Hmm? When I do Manchester City, you only want to have a team with 15 charges. <laughs> but 2-0 up against Crystal Palace at home, they were cruising. Cruising. Well, until they considered the first goal and then everything just went south. You know what? The city squeeze in the car. You can't go to the market. 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 You can't go And that's exactly what happened, man. They considered the first goal 2 1 uh, as the lead. And then some minutes later into the match, in the dying minutes, uh, Ford and considered a penalty and 2 2. Just like that, I'm like, City were absolutely bossing it. What is going How the hell are they? How the hell are they drawing? And I think that's like their fourth draw this season. So see, they have four draws this season and five losses. No, and three losses. It's insane when you think about it. This is a, we are not used to seeing this side of Manchester City, to be honest. And I'm like, you know what? Actually, I want to end the club all cup. Premier League. 
hii Premier League kidogo imewaweza. They are now 5 points below Arsenal which is top of the table so yeah and then we know Manchester City can string because we keep being told this they can string three, 10 run 10 matches without losing or even 20 now let's see if they can actually do that. You know when they do that hakuna mtu anakuanga akiangalia sana because everybody akona mashida mingi preoccupied. Now Manchester City have to string have to put in those games we keep talking about like 15 matches without, without losing while other teams are losing and then they're just going on and on we they have to do that now hacha tuone kama watafanya hivyo it is a Manchester City side that is not as good as the previous one their defenders are not looking good well KDB is coming back but well is he coming to make the defenders better cuz Guardiol this season mm, 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 mm. Ruben Diaz mm, 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 mm. Nah, not the same guy we used to saying so yeah, man. Let's let's wait and see what's gonna happen, man. So Manchester City, they are now going to the Club World Cup in Saudi Arabia. Chelsea are also playing at uh, the same time, 6 p.m. on Saturday, and they won that game too. Like I'm gonna give it to them, man, because I, I was I was putting on my 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 head my hitting cap when I was saying Chelsea are not going to win. So, yeah, they won too. Like in the Sheffield United, Cole Palmer, the only bright spark at Chelsea, scored, and uh, and uh, Jackson, yeah, Jackson. Uh, Nicholas Jackson also was on the score sheet. So that's how the cookie crumbled this weekend. Nothing much apart from that. Uh, oh, and also in Kenya, Sisi Kamataska, Tulienda, Bungoma, Tukapiga, and Zoya Shiga, Zoya Shiga 2-0. Hmm? Unajua Shuga inatumiwanga kutengeneza pombe. So tulichukua yo sukari, tulini nao wapa roraka tuendele kutengeneza pombe. Unajua ni festive season. Watu lazima wakunye kitu kidogo. Ama vipi? Uh, so we are now 7th in the Premier League standings. Gor Mahaya won 2-0 against uh, Talanta FC. Um... Posta Rangers wali enda aje. I'm not so sure. I know Murangasi lost. They have not won in their last five matches. Ao, tulisema wa match energy yao ya Twitter admin to the pitch. There's a disconnect. They need to <laughs> they need to do something better than that. So they deal with that game. They lost 2-0 actually against Bandari. And they are falling now like a stone in water. It's crazy. Um, which other team did I forget? Newcastle. Newcastle won against Fulham. Uh, nothing much to talk about there. So yeah, that's... That's basically it, man. That's basically it. Of course, big highlight for Arsenal going back on top of the table as we go to play at Anfield next Saturday. If what Liverpool played against Manchester United is what they're going to bring when Arsenal comes to town, ha, they might be in trouble. They might be in trouble. Like I said, also in Kenya, Sisi Kamataska to Kosawa. Oh, Kapaito by this code last week, midweek. Alifunga Bawi actually scored two and assisted one. He actually had an assist in the game against Nzoya Sugar, but it was chopped off. So... Yeah, we, we're doing good. Twendele and Ayo Ring, Sisi Kamataska, and Sisi Kamasenali. And of course, we continue looking down on you as you continue looking up to us on top of the garden table. And let me just say this as I wind up. I know I'm enjoying so much being on top of the season, being on top of the table this season, but my biggest concern this season is just being on top come May. Come the end of the season, I just want to be the team on top. I don't care. Easy thing in any sour, because our but bottom line, be on top of the table by the end of the season. Have a fantastic time. God bless. Enjoy.